Welcome to Procedural Architecture Part 1, brought to you by GameTutor.com. In this course, we are going to walk through the process of creating a procedural wall system um, that takes uh, the Houdini engine to the next level. Basically, we're going to create more of a layer-based type system. So what we can do is we can layer on pillars. All right, we can add you know some extra height. We can change their minimum distances along each other. Um, but we can also add doors to uh, the system, so we can place doors wherever we want along this actual wall path. All right, we could place multiple doors on this, so we don't have just a single door. Uh, we can even <laughs> rotate the doors, you can see here. And all this is being done because we're using uh, the Houdini engine. All right, we're also going to take a look at how to scatter debris. And we're going to get really into some more of the technical aspects behind setting up our graphs inside of Houdini over here, uh, Houdini 14 specifically. And we're going to start to add in our vertex colors. We're going to take care of all the UV mapping uh, for all these particular assets so that by the end of this course, you will have a wall system uh, that looks exactly like this um, that allows you to create uh, almost any type of wall that you want um, as you see fit. All right. So... Uh, throughout this course, we are going to walk through each step um, and show you guys exactly how to set all of this stuff up inside of Unity 5 using Houdini Engine 1.9 and Houdini 14. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. 